वेलकम टू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिक्स विद सचिन दीक्षित आल्सो वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन वन टॉपिक ऑन ऑपरेशन रिसर्च एज रिप्लेसमेंट प्रॉब्लम इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन रिप्लेसमेंट प्रॉब्लम in this lecture we discuss first introduction to replacement problem failure mechanism of items replacement situations replacement of items whose maintenance cost increases with time and money value और स्क्रैप वैल्यू इज कांस्टेंट। फर्स्ट रिप्लेसमेंट प्रॉब्लम द रिप्लेसमेंट प्रॉब्लम्स आर कॉन्सर्न विथ द सिचुएशंस दैट आर आइज व्हेन सम आइटम्स नीड रिप्लेसमेंट ड्यू टू देयर decreased efficiency failure or breakdown such as mains machines electric light bulbs etc such decreased efficiency or complete breakdown may either the gradual or all of sudden all of is sudden the replacement problem arise because of the following factors first the existing machines or units becomes ineffective and it may not be economical to allow them to continue in the organization after using that machine so many times so many years it becomes ineffective and uh, and it may not be economical to allow them means its maintenance cost will be increases in such cases we have uh, arise to a replacement problem we have to replace that machine in such cases second factor is the existing units gets destroyed through the accidents or otherwise sometimes uh, in case of machines or in case of items the accidents will be takes place and whole items or that a whole machine will be destroyed in that uh, destroyed case we have to replace that machine or that items that is the only one option therefore the replacement problem will arise in such uh, arise because of this factor also and third factor is a better efficient design of machine becomes available in the market in the market sometimes we are using the machines but these machines are of old are with old designs but in market sometimes there will be available some new type of design of the machine which gets better efficient than old type of machine and in such cases also the replacement problem will arise these are the uh, factors these are the factors when the replacement problem arise in case of items whose efficiency goes on decreasing according to their age it require to spend more money because of increasing operating cost increasing repairing cost etc in such cases the replacement of an old item with new one is the only one alternative to avoid 
such increased expenses thus it is necessary to determine an age of age at which the replacement is more economical rather than to continue at increased cost the problem of replacement are faced in case of both man and machines failure mechanism of items there are two kinds of failures first gradual failure the mechanism under this category is progressive that is as the life of an item increases its efficiency deteriorates causing increased expenditure of operating cost decreased productivity of the equipment and third is a decrease in the value of the equipment that is resale of selling value decreases resale of selling value decreases then such failure is called as gradual failure gradual failure in this gradual failure as the life of atom increases its efficiency deteriorates the causing for example mechanical items like pistons bearings rings automobile tires these are the examples of gradual failure as time increases the pistons will also uh, destroyed bearings also destroyed as time being automobile tires also we have to um, failure in some cases as time increases its efficiency deteriorates second is sudden failure this type of failure is applicable to those items that do not deteriorates the marked with the service but which ultimately fail after some period of using the period between installation and failure is not constant for any particular type of equipment but will follow some frequency distribution which may be progressive retrogressive or random in the nature random in the nature first progressive failure under this mechanism the probability of failure increases with the increase in the life of the atom with increase in the life of the atom as increase in the life of the atom the probability of failure will also increases then this failure is called as progressive failure for example electric light bulb automobile tubes automobile tires these are the examples of progressive failure second retrogressive failure certain items have more probability of failure in the beginning of their life and as the time passes the chances of failure becomes less chances of failure becomes less that is the ability of the unit to survive in the initial period of life increased its expected life increased its expected life then such failure is called as retrogressive failure for example industrial equipments with this type of distribution of life span is exemplified by aircraft engines aircraft engines at the beginning of aircraft engines the probability of failure is more 
as time passes its the chances of failure becomes less hence is the an example of retrogressive failure random failure under this failure the constant probability of failure is associated with items that fails from random causes such as physical shocks not related to age not related to age in such case virtually all the items fail before aging has any effect has any effect for example vacuum tubes in airborne equipment have been shown to fail at the at a rate of independent of the age of the tube age of the tube this is the example of random failure that is vacuum tube is an example of random failure the replacement situations may be placed into four categories replacement of major equipments that becomes worst with time for example machine tools buses in transport organization etc then second category is group replacement of items which fails completely for examples tubes light bulbs etc then third example third is problems of mortality and stuffing and fourth is miscellaneous problems these are the four categories of replacement situations costs associated with cost associated with maintenance purchase cost or capital cost it is denoted by c this cost is independent of the age of the machine or uses of the machine this is incurred at the beginning of the life of the machine that is at the time of the purchasing the machine or equipment this is purchase cost or capital cost scrap value or resale value it is denoted by capital s as the age of the machine increases the resale value decreases as its operating efficiency decreases and the maintenance cost increases it depends on the operating conditions of the machine and life of the machine third running costs including maintenance repair and operating costs they are denoted by rn n for number of periods and uh, as period increases this running cost is also increases these costs are the functions of the age of the machine and uses of the machine as usage increases or age increases due to wear and tear many components fail to work and they are to be replaced as the age increases failures also increases and the maintenance costs goes on increasing at some period the maintenance costs are so high 
which will indicate that the replacement of the machine or equipment is essential is essential now the question is when the replacement is justified consider a case of truck owner whose problem is to find the best time at which he should replace the old truck by new one consider the case of a truck owner whose problem is to find the best time at which he should replace the old truck by new one the truck owner wants to transport goods as cheaply as possible the associated costs are first the running costs and second the capital costs of purchasing a truck these associated costs can be expressed as average cost per month now the truck owner will observe that the average monthly cost will go on decreasing longer the replacement is postponed however there will come an age at which the rate of increase of running costs more than the compensate the saving in the average capital cost however there will be there will come an age at which the rate of increase of running costs more than compensates the saving in average capital costs thus at this age the replacement is justified at that time the replacement of truck from old to new one is justified that concept we have to use in this whole topic in this topic we discuss some modeling of the replacement problems uh, with some conditions and do some try to give some better solutions for such type of replacement problems this is more useful in our day to day life also is the just introductory lecture on replacement problem these are the reference books corresponding to these lectures Uh, the points we have to discuss here uh, that points are referred from these three books thank you for listening this first lecture on replacement problem